In the United States, hundreds of thousands of women go missing, especially women of color. According to the National Crime Information Center, more than 268,000 women were reported missing. Nearly 100,000 are black women and girls. Black women account for one third of those who were reported missing in 2020. The new Lifetime movie, Black Girl Missing, focuses on actual stories of missing women of color and is a part of the network's Stop Violence Against Women's campaign. Let's take a look. My daughter is missing. I can't even get in touch with the detective assigned to her case. Inspired by actual stories. I think there's a story here. News isn't news anymore, Drake. And the public goes nuts for a pretty little blonde girl. And no one cares about a missing black girl. Joining us now is the star and executive producer of the film, Miss Garcelle Beauvais, the one, the only. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back on the show. Thank you for having me, Lindsay. I'm really happy to be here. Well, it, it's such an important topic, too. Let, let's get into your character, uh, mother of two, mm -hmm. uh, recently widowed. Let's talk about your relationship with Lauren, your daughter who ultimately goes missing. At the time, mom is really just trying to make sure the two girls are okay after the passing of their father. Absolutely. She's making sure that they're okay. They just moved to a small town. She's trying to sort of level up and be the, you know, the parent to both of them, obviously. And, uh, you know, her daughter is struggling and she didn't see it. She didn't see it. You know, so many times we don't talk about, you know, mental health or she said she was depressed and I was like, you know, my character says, when I was younger, I was too busy taking care of myself to be depressed. Like, you know, sort of like generational things that we pass on without really listening. And um, and she feels like she needs another outlet. So she started talking to someone on the Internet and uh, went off to meet with him and never came back. And we find out that simultaneously, a young girl named Jessica has disappeared yes. in Oregon. Now, you and your daughter, your younger daughter, Marley, are really, like, trying to do everything you can to bring back your daughter. Everything. And you see there's a totally different treatment from the police and the media. I explain that difference that you yeah, see. Yeah, I mean, the difference is, you know, it's a disparity that we face all the time where we're not seen, we're not heard. If we, if we go missing, we're considered a runaway. Or give it a couple of days, they'll come back. And as we know, the first... 24, 48 hours are most crucial, and no one was paying attention. And I really wanted us to show the difference between Jessica Russo disappearing and immediately it's round the clock news. You know, she becomes a, a big ratings um, get for the station. So, of course, therefore, they're going to continue with that. And Lauren was just, you know, pushed aside. And um, Cheryl really had to take the matters into her own hands and her daughter and found net sleuths, people who are on the internet who are willing to sort of jump in and be detectives. And it, and to me, it's just a frustration of that we're never seen and heard like we need to be. I'm not saying the other stories aren't important, but it's just everybody should be important. So that's why I'm so proud of this movie and I want us to hopefully start a conversation or an awareness. Uh, really, the, we see the onus in this particular uh, situation and in real life, the parallel, yeah. where uh, the the difficulty is not getting the same kind of coverage, right? And so it really falls squarely on the parents, as you said, to try to figure out all these different right. mechanisms to try to help find uh, your missing child. When I'm thinking about it and, and being a part of the media and being in this industry for, for more than two decades yeah. now, I could not name you a single black female who's gone missing no. in the last decades. I could probably name five to six Absolutely. white women who've gone missing. And right. I know that you worked uh, with the nonprofit uh, Black and Missing Foundation. Yes. Did they help you to understand why? You know, I don't know if there's a why, but it's just, it doesn't happen. You know, I think we focus on, you know, the pretty picture or the most popular picture. Um, I don't know why, I just feel like it's just systemic. The pretty really, in air quotes. Right, the, exactly, right. exactly. But the Black and Missing Foundation, when we partnered with them for the movie, I mean, it opened my eyes to so many things that I didn't know of. I mean, in terms of like when we think missing, we think young girls, young boys, but older women, older men. I mean, it goes across the board and no one, no one does anything about it. I mean, these parents are frustrated and need help and need an outlet, which is the Black and Missing Foundation is really a great outlet. What does it mean to you to be able to have really this megaphone, this platform in this way to, to perhaps make a difference? It means everything to me. I mean, you know, I say my platform is for three things. To show people I still look cute at my age, <laughs> to shade a housewife here and there, and also to bring attention to things that are really important, not only for me, but for my community. I mean, that's why. Otherwise, you know, what's the point? 
And we do see that sexiest grandmother alive, <laughs> as I've given you that distinction before. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Garcelle. You're really so great to have you back on. Want to let our Thank viewers you. know that her film, Black Girl Missing, premieres Saturday, March 4th on Lifetime at 8, 7 p.m. Central Time. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.